Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 4 of Eggsology, and we're here in a mushroom island with a bunch of mushrooms, walking ones and stationary ones, and we are going to be setting up a mini game this episode, and so I'm going to place down some grass and create a platform, I think 101 by 50 platform, so pretty big, and gonna take me a while I'm gonna lie so let's just get right started on it and my inventory's full glorious but I'm gonna build it elevated just so then I don't have to deal with clearing out the uh, mycelium and then I can just terraform up to it or just leave it floating I think I might just leave it floating and then build like retaining walls but let's get started
lot of die, and so I'm getting green die or lime die from smelting down cactus. And so luckily I uh, can use well Ruben's cactus and Shinkoi's uh, auto smelter, which is auto fed by his bamboo farm, so I don't have to worry about it. Luckily, I can use this, and I'm just merely cooking away lots, so I don't have to worry about that. And the other die that I would really have to worry about, that being red die, I don't have to worry about since I can use my own uh, iron farm, or I can just go borrow it from uh, other people and get a bunch of poppies and other stuff like that. So, we're going to use those two colors as part of our game and if you're wondering what mini game I'm doing it is kind of a FPS style game uh, first person shooter and so we're what you do is you take crossbows and you put rockets in your offhand and you're able to shoot the rockets out of the crossbows and yeah that's going to be the game and there's going to be two teams with like leather tun I'm going to dye leather tunic uh, green and red. So, like, let's take this uh, tunic and we can get an example from out of here. So, let's make this just red dye and then snag some green dye. And we can just combine them and bam! A great way to tell who's on your team and who isn't. So, yeah, so now we're just gotta wait for that to finish off. I have actually already started, like, telling people, yo, start signing up. So I'm hoping to get it done and hopefully have it either next week and fun stuff like that. Probably won't be able to play, like, a full match this episode. We might, I might get, like, one other person to help me, like, play test it, quote unquote, or. St fun stuff like that. You might have also noticed in the shulker box, oh, wrong shulker box, that I had a, I have quick charge and multi shot, even though I don't have villagers for that. I had to suffer through more villagers, and I really didn't want to show it on camera since it is pain. So, yeah, I kept that off camera. Same with like the leather worker and stuff like that. It took me like two, three hours to just get those two books. Two or three hours. Granted, that also included waiting for villagers to breed and grow up, but still, too long. Way too long. So we're over here in my creative test world, and this is what the map is going to kind of look like. So as you can see, there's like a team area back here, and then they're going to be able to come out. I, I'm figuring this is going to be like a no, like a safe zone per se. Like, you're not supposed to come back here. You're not allowed to sit back here and smack it out. Figure, whatever. Uh, and then, like, you come out here. You got little different buildings you can shoot out of, be shot through. Fun stuff. And so then I figured, like, you'd come through here. There'd be a green, green team. And then over there, there'd be a red team. Which I don't think they're wearing their uniform. So let me go put the uniform on. And so now that you see they now that you can see they have chest plate on and that's how you can see how the teams are gonna be different because they're gonna be wearing leather tunics. I guess they're called tunics and not chest plates. And yeah, I think I have made the map as balanced and like the flow be as well as possible. This is what I've kinda done to try and test it, is like I'll just go through put a random person here or a uh, villager and then see how well I can hit them and like shoot them from across the map and stuff like that. Like I have this up here and like I made this to be kind of a very much a strategic position where you can hit from the entire across the map. Like I can shoot all the way into that building there. Not all the way but 
into there so then if there was anyone trying to peek around the door I could get them and so now uh, but getting up here would be a very hard situation so say let's TP this account weird over here so say they're trying to climb up the staircase you can hit them as they're climbing and they'll take damage and this top up here isn't that really defensible like you can try to crouch down here and avoid it but again if we TP discount weird over here oh I TP two discount weird okay that makes sense uh, let's TP discount weird to weird person and like say we are over here and we try to snipe them it's a lot harder but like see you can there you can hit them from there uh, and like through these corners or say you're running up you can shoot them from below you can, usually you can get them from below and now in the actual game the crossbow won't be drawn this fast they'll have a uh, quick draw two since I think that would be more balanced so let's just say uh, quick draw two crossbow and anvil and also while we're at it let's grab multi shot and I forgot to grab the anvil and so say we take the uh, crossbow and say for like so like this is what they would normally be looking like they'd have on breaking and mending on of course and so that's about the time each thing like each crossbow would take just to make it just that much harder so then you have to so then there's time between reloading and so you can't just go like and shoot off like that like, I still might do that for, like, a different class, because I'm thinking of having a couple different classes. Like, there be one uh, with, like, I guess you'd call it, I, I'm, I don't know what I'm calling it, but kind of making the crossbow into a shotgun with multi-blast. So, figure we take discount weird, slap them over here, and then, uh... Like that, and then figure you're coming in here to try and push them out of this building. So you try to push them out. As you can see, you're dealing a lot more damage, and eventually they will go bang. They will go bang. They will go bang and bang. They go. And that way, they then, uh, uh, I forgot how to speak. But what's going to be much more of a challenge is you are going to be running out of health more than you're going to be running out of rockets. And I might make it where you only have so many rockets per game to go through. So if you run through them all, you're kind of out of luck, which you don't want to be since you can't really fight that well with just fists against people who have range. And then I was thinking of making like a sniper class because right now, if you stand right about up here, you have flight one rockets. They make it about halfway across the playing field. And I was thinking of giving them flight threes. So if we get a uh, die, die over here and we go over here to the crafting table. If any of you ever were stuck trying to figure out how the heck you make fireworks like this this is actually how I actually had to look it up so yeah but then say we get this flight three we drop down here and it makes it all the way across and so this is figure a sniper class so like you can sit up here and try to aim and fire granted these still do blow up on contact so like when they hit a building, they blow up, uh, and stuff like that. And I was thinking of making a more tankier person, uh, with, like, leather pants and maybe a helmet, uh, 
or back and forth, like adding on the leather, but only giving them either a quick draw one bow or an unenchanted bow, and, or not bow, uh, crossbow, and then having to go like that. And that's just to play this game with just rockets and crossbows. You can also play this game with just, say, normal crossbows and or bows and trying to hit each other or uh, pvp with shields and swords and trying to do all that fun stuff and also like many different modes you could do say capture the flag where say this dirt block is the flag and you go have it hidden over somewhere on their other side and then the opposite team would have to come over here and capture them bring it back basic uh, capture the flag type stuff or you could do elimination where you try where there's a team of four and that team of four tried to remove the other team of four and if you died and blew up you were out of the match and had to sit out or you could do a uh, like a points thing where for say 10 minutes both team tries to get as much kills as possible and then Whichever team got the most kills wins and stuff like that. And that's like kind of what I'm thinking, like same with classes, things like that. So uh, tell me all what you think about like all the classes and things. And if you can actually think up of any yourself and and or play styles and like how to play it and things like that. I would love to hear it because like there's only so much my brain cell can think up. And I imagine you all can think of a lot more interesting ideas than me but yeah i'm going to jump into the exology server and start building it there however i need to keep my uh camera count discount weird over in uh this uh this world so that i actually know what i'm building so i'm gonna have to keep them here so sadly no time lapse i'll probably jump in every now and then to share how it's a going and if you're wondering how the map's gonna look all these buildings are gonna be copied over here it's just backwards so like where that building is that building will be right there that building of course will be right there except that top structure will be right there and so if that makes sense so then it's not like the same each side and all that fun stuff. The only building that's going to be the same is this one. Since this is, con I'm considering this like a neutral in between each uh, team kind of area. And that building. I feel like that building will be right there. Or right here again. So it's not going to change at all. And actually kind of this building... I was thinking of making it like a strong pillbox or something like that where it's going to be very hard to try and get it into it to take it out. You're going to have to flank it or something like that to take it. But I wanted to make it actually doable so I left the roof, o roof open. So say someone was able to get up to this tower, they could just easily take care of anyone inside there. I'm also going to add in... Uh, like spectator stands like either I think I'm going to add in like a bunch here and on the other side of course and some above each team area these ones above each team area being a lot more dangerous ones since loose falling loose flying rockets might come blow you up but where's the fun if there's not a few casualties so again let's go build this on the exology server so here is the field built on the Exology server. You can see we got both sides, like the uh, these like buildings that run across the center, and all that fun stuff. And yeah, I actually got uh, some people to help me play test it on the Exology server. So let me play that clip now, and there will be another FOV for like. This will be playing from my point of view, but if you want to watch kind of a overview floating up, so from like this perspective about, like right around here,
to go check out my other YouTube channel, Weird Person 46. Uh, link in the description, of course. You will be able to see like all the top and see how it goes. And there's okay, not going to question it. Uh, but yeah, if you want to go check it out? I do suggest so. Quite fun. It's going to be edited at down since there's about like 30 minutes of actual like playing and like uh in the matches and then there's like an hour and a half of getting stuff set up and working <laughs> so i'm gonna just edit that down just so then you guys don't have to watch that because that's not going to be the fun part but we actually need to go do some more villagers since i am planning to use quick draw two books instead of quick draw three just for game balance type thing and to get in order to get those i have a quick draw one book villager so i need to combine books to get quick draw two and i have a quick draw three villager or quick draw two i mean and uh as you can see in my inventory but they're both kind of expensive like one's 13 14 emeralds and one's 12 emeralds so like not the best like he's oh 29 i was off by a lot and then i uh he's nothing and then this one's not and so technically actually this dude's cheaper than that dude but i'm going to make them all cheap so i'm going to get this villager to actually give me a good book hopefully quick draw two or quick draw one and then i'm going to try and corral them all in a corner and then dump a zombie on their head and then zombify them and then maybe re then heal them then zombie fire them again then heal them just to get that good traits since i actually still have some health pots and some golden apples uh like right around here and then my golden apples should be over here somewhere and if anything i can just make more golden apples they're they're not that expensive but I'm just going to go do that. Y'all don't want to be. I'm not going to put you through the pain of villagers. So I'm going to just cut to where I'm zombie. Fi I'm in my head now. Uh, zombie find the villagers. So I was grand enough and Tweaker stopped by. And he dropped off a bunch of quick charge to books. Which is great because that will give me two shulkers and with the amount of books i have over here granted these are all quick draw ones so they're not as good but we will have enough for the game we'll have more than enough and i think we have enough mending and um breaking books over here oh we need a lot more okay change of plan we're gonna be grinding mending and unbreaking now no longer quick draw two. So we have one shulker, and this is basically the same for the other shulker. So we got a shulker of crossbows, shulker of quick draw two books, shulker of unbreaking three, and a shulker of mending books. And so now we just have to go take that to the uh, the end where there's the Enderman farm and go enchant them all. Which is also going to be painful because that's about 15 levels per crossbow. So, yeah. <laughs> and after this, uh, I'll probably make the rockets off camera since it's really just a lot of clicking and clicking. And also, I don't know what teams are actually going to be. I went to the wrong portal uh so like i don't know if we're just going to stick with two teams or if we're going to have three teams or if we're going to have four or if we're going to have five you know and so i'm not doing the armor and the uh rockets right now so i'm waiting to do those but they will be done in the future off camera and i am actually going to go do this off camera so bye bye y'all thank you very much for watching I really <laughs> hope you uh, enjoyed the episode.
And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. And yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.